Okay, so we're going to go negative, say, 25. Yeah. Oh, maybe a little bit less. Negative 15. We'll probably end up changing that. Negative 5. Yep, negative 5 is good. Then we want to go to 20 seconds. Or 20 frames, sorry. And then go back to 0. And we'll just remove these ones now. Delete keys. So if we play this, she shoots. But what we also want to do is go to here and we want to add another curve, the transform, the position. And what we'll do is actually we'll just delete, remove these for now. And change these to, I believe I had it at 0 0.3. 0 0.7, negative 0 0.3, and 1.3. And let's play that. Yep, that's that's a little little bit better. But that's just what we want for now. So we'll go back to this and we'll go add curve, transform, position, and. We want to go from here to add a key here in the position and we're going to move the Z position back so we're going to go 1, uh, maybe 1 1.2 so if we go moves back as we as it rotates so it's a little bit a little bit more realistic effect um, so one more other one effect I did was is just get the trigger and we're going to rotate that when we're here we're going to move that we're going to rotate that down actually yeah when we're Um, yeah, we'll just move just the trigger and rotate him Y5. No, that's the whole thing. So we just want to get the trigger and let's try it this way. Yeah, there we go. It's, it'll do it for us. Um, so to there. And then when we get back to here, we want to rotate him back to normal. Let's say that's a little bit weird at the moment but you can play around with that if you want so that's good for now and what we're gonna do next is that's all finished so let's have a look and play that that's pretty good so what we're gonna do is now um, get a bullet and a 3D model or make our own so if we can find one then we'll use that a good uh, smaller smallish one um, uh, can't really get one I mean, we can probably just scale this down for now and we'll get a another one later so we'll just use this one um, let that download and 
that's fine for now. We don't really need the animation one anymore. Um, and we can. Oh, it created a uh, thing for us now. But what we're gonna do is those two need to be. You need to make sure that the controller has the controller that it created, and the avatar has the avatar, which is there, the M9 avatar. And you want to add another component called a Michel in miscellaneous an animation and you don't want to def this is your default animation and this is your list of animations that it can play um, you can access through the code so we don't want a default one yet because it's just going to do nothing so we're going to make this one one and we're going to drag the shoot animation we just made into the um, element zero the first animation so and we don't want to play automatically so that should all be fine no errors um, then we're gonna save this I'm just gonna control X that put it in my downloads And we're just gonna control X that again and go back to the um, Unity. Oh, we can uh, probably X that and just open it here. Show an explorer. And models, we just put that one in. And we go back, we go to the bullet and We'll use this one because it's already got the text on it and everything's ready for us. So we can just del oh, what's this one? delete these two. We we'll use this one. Uh, model uh, that can all same generate colliders. Uh, generate colliders for now. I think that was something that might we might get an error later, so we might have to change it. Rig generic uh, input animations untick because we don't have any, um, and we're just going to drag this on to the thing, and we're going to just have a look at him. Yeah, he is. He's big. Alright, so what we're going to do is rotate him ninety on the Y and then we're just going to move him forward and basically try and line him up with the barrel of it so it's a little bit better so scaling we're actually just going to scale it this way a little bit less it, it'll look a little bit weird for now but no, no. Um, then movement We want to just line him up about that big. Move him over. And that's about right. Maybe scale him up a little bit. Scale just to about there. And we'll go back here. Yeah, it doesn't really look great. Um, we're not gonna. We're gonna actually break this down and delete this. We're just gonna have this one. And but we'll keep that same size. So that's good for now. So then you just want to go up to here and go. Bring this back out as a second bullet prefab and just delete the one on the screen so for now that's pretty good um, what we're gonna do is then create the animation for the gun and for this we're gonna go into scripts and what I did I broke up the scripts into three different folders so enemy just put your attack heal and movement in that one and your player's got just got your heal health one so then go into create a new folder called gun 
and then create a new C sharp script and just call this uh, M9 and just open that one. Um, I did all the coding for this before, so I'll be taking some of it, some of it, and using it because it it took me a while to un sort of understand what to do. Um, but I will go through, try and go through as much as I can, um, as much as what I know. So um, first of all, what we want to do is create a. Uh, create our variables say so this is going to be public and we're going to create a um, bullet prefab uh, game object so it's going to be transform and it's going to be um, m9 m9 bullet um, uh, what else are we going to need we're going to need our uh, spawn point something else we need to create um, public transform a uh, bullet spawn um, we need all of these ones I'll explain them once I put them in um, okay so what these ones are is the first one is a vector 3 We'll actually change that to private so private vector 3 fwd full forward it's going to create a um we're going to use that with a the physics um command thing later um and we're going to basically say when the gun when from the middle of the screen looking forward if you're looking at something the gun is going to shoot towards that point um so say if I'm looking yeah, looking at an enemy I'm going to shoot at that enemy instead of shooting off of him when I'm actually looking directly at him so however far away he is I'm always going to hit him so that's a vector 3 forward then a private ray cost hit called hit this is just what you hit when you look at it or look at something or depending on what you give the um, variable the uh, command uh, vec another private vector three direction dir for direction. So this will be the direction that you're looking at. Looking um, private quaternion rot. Uh, we don't need the second one actually. Um, quaternion rot is that your is a rotation. So we're going to say uh, it's going to the bullet is going to shoot at the rotation. Uh, it's going to rotate towards the um, where you're looking at. So then start. We're just going to um, that's an update. Start, we're going to... Um, there was a few things we declared in start. Uh, I'll come back to them later, I think. Um, actually, no, we'll do those by hand and these ones. Forward hit, direction rot. Um, we're just gonna copy this. And paste it in there. Okay, so um pause the video and continue to copy this code down. We don't need any of this. Um don't need this one. That was just code for me. Don't need this one, don't need these codes comments okay so what you're going to do is first of all what we do is we're going to check if we're playing an animation so if we pl are playing an animation where we can't shoot again so we want the to restrict you from shooting when you if you haven't finished the animation yet so if the animation is playing is not equal to true so if it's false if you're not playing an animation then you can you can continue so if you then put the fire button down one put uh, sh shoot if you press the fire one button then you're going to continue and we're doing it that way because you are able to change 
the file one button and it'll, it'll all fix itself when you change buttons and things like that so then what we're going to do is go if your current ammo is greater than zero so if your ammo is greater than zero and that's another thing that we need to create up here but we'll do that in a second um, then you're going to get the ray ray uh, I think I created a ray uh, we'll see if we get an error for that, but I think I need to create a variable called ray. But you're gonna create a ray and set that ray equal to the camera, the main camera from this script. So it's gonna be the main camera of the character, and it's gonna go they call the viewport to ray, which is essentially um, converting the screen point your viewport like. Uh, in, uh, a little fuzzy on this but a point on your screen I think to array um, so